Text replacements are one of the most useful productivity features on your Mac, but even people that use them don't always use them to their fullest potential. This is one of my favorite shortcuts in a Mac, and that's the, the text replacement shortcuts. So we're gonna go to System Preferences, then we're gonna click on Keyboard, and then right there, we're gonna click Text. Now you can see I've got these preloaded with a bunch of stuff. Let's look at a couple of them. So especially the ones I use all the time. So my daughter's name is Scarlett. I've made the um, the shortcut SBL, okay? And so anytime I text SBL, then it, it types out her name. Um, on my way, I find myself saying that all the time. So I've got OMW and then that, that will populate when I type that with punctuation, on my way, exclamation point, happy birthday. I just type HB and then you can't see all the emoji, but I've got happy birthday, exclamation point, and then there's a bunch of emoji. Um, the, I've got a shortcut for my website, frontrowvip.com is just FRVP. Um, let's see, what else do I use a ton? Uh, my regular website is just WS. Very important when you create these replacements, these shortcuts, that you use um, consonants together, right? Like for my daughter's name, SBL, there's no word that would ever begin SBL. Otherwise, if you do something that starts with something like FAR or FOR or something like that, um, every single time you type those three letters, it's going to replace it with your replacement text, which is super annoying. Um, but even though these are just short little phrases, I wanna show you what else you can do. So first, the way that you add a shortcut is you click this little plus button down there and you're going to type in your shortcut. So uh, right here, uh, I wanna show you how you can add like a big chunk of text. Let's say it's gonna be your, um, let's say you always get people always ask you how they can work with you. Um, and for the month of June and July, you are just not working with people. So maybe it's going to be, um, so it's going to be you having to decline. So we're going to say D C L is going to be your decline text. And let's say it's a whole paragraph. So we're going to just grab a dummy paragraph over here from, uh, hipster Ibsen. It's just nonsense, you know, Latin language. Actually, it's, it's just nonsense, nonsense language. And in this, in this case, it's supposed to be like hipster language. Okay. So we're going to copy that and then we're going to go back over to our system preferences. And then I'm going to put that whole paragraph in there. Okay. And that's it. So let's see this shortcut at work. So here we are in the body of an email and I'm going to hit I'm going to type in our shortcut DCL and then click return. And there it is. It populated right there in the email. And then obviously you come back over here. If you want to remove one of your shortcuts, you just highlight it and go down here and click the minus sign and it will disappear.